so much again for being here today. We have a special privilege and uh, honor to be able to do a baptism this morning. We're going to be baptizing Judy Thilk. It's Ashley Jean's mother. Um, she considers us to be part of our church family, even though she lives in Georgia. Uh, she has been saved now for two years, and she has been following along long distance uh, from our church, uh, listening to sermons, watching the Bible study videos for a very, very long time. And when she asked me to baptize her, I thought it was such an honor. I was so excited about it. So that's what we're going to do here today. She's going to step down here. All right, come on down. I want you to slip. She wanted to share her testimony with everyone this morning before I baptized her, so that's what she's going to read for us here today. Praise God. He chose me before the foundation of the world, and it's all God's grace. As scripture says, at least to anyone boasts, mm -hmm. Ashley Jean, my daughter, full of the Holy Spirit, was leading me to see that being a Christian is a relationship with Christ and following him. Being a prideful Catholic all my life, I just did not get it. For those eight years, we would have in-depth discussions, and even at times, I felt hurt that we were not on the same path. I was angry and bitter, but didn't know any better since the Catholic Church never encouraged us to read the Bible. We never knew any scripture, nor seen ourselves in the proper light as a wretched sinner in need of a glorious Savior. I would go to church on Sunday, and the rest of the week, my false religion allowed me to live just like the world and never confronted my wicked, sinful ways. <laughs> If I felt any guilt or wanted to satisfy my Catholic duties, I went to confession and talked with a priest. When I think of all the wasted years without Christ, it makes me cringe. I'm sorry. I continue to pray for family and friends who are still practicing Catholics. Ashley Jean would continue to gently share God's word with me and encourage me to listen to various sermons. So now it's 2018, my sweet Ashley Jean is still sharing all of her knowledgeable theology with me. As one fellow Christian brother said to me, she wants mama to go to heaven with her. <laughs> I'm in Georgia and Ashley Jean is in Western New York. It is now July 2018. We were on the phone for over four hours when I am truly coming to repentance. I'm listening to her every word and God is working in me. It is so clear. I'm starting to understand it all. It is not right to pray to Mary and disregard our Savior. Jesus is our mediator to the Heavenly Father. The veil has been lifted. I started to cry. I said, Ashley G, it's just like the verse of the song. I once was blind, but now I see. Mm. Repentance was bestowed upon me. I said, Father, thank you. I'm so grateful. Jesus, I am a horrible sinner. Thank you for forgiving me. I'm ashamed of how I have been in a religion that does not worship you. Please have mercy on me to have faith in you and not man. This phone conversation was so intense. Praise be to our Father. I am saved. Mm -hmm. Ashley G. and I, over the phone, have done Bible studies, devotions, and talk about our walk with the Lord, our struggles, and encourage each other with all the blessings we have been given from our Heavenly Father. I stand today before First Baptist Church of Orchard Park and proclaim Jesus Christ as my Savior, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Amen. 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 I don't know if I could have said it better 
yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I, want, I always like to say this one quote from Spurgeon whenever I do a baptism. So let's see what we're here. Right. Um, Christ did not come to make bad men good, or even good men better. He came to make dead men live. Amen. Amen. In this baptism illustration, we are showing exactly what Judy just proclaimed, that she once was dead, and she's now alive in Christ. Amen. This baptism does not secure her salvation. She is already saved. It's an illustration of what Christ has done in her heart. Amen. Judy Phil, in obedience to the command of Christ and upon your public profession of faith, I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hey.